There's nothing we like more than a fabulous mashup, and today is exactly that with Indian food and our iconic burritos. You know, we did Indian butter chicken a while back. It was a fantastic video and it is so delicious and a lot of you loved it. But many of you said, Sam, we don't have a pressure cooker. What are we supposed to do? Well, we're gonna show you how to make Indian butter chicken without a pressure cooker in one pan and then turn it into the most amazing burrito with garlic butter rice. Butter all over the place today. And we're putting papardam in it. We'll get to that in a bit. Just know this. Oh yeah, you're gonna like everything about today. We start with the rice. Garlic butter rice is gonna have butter, of course. That's a tablespoon, and this is about a, I don't know, quarter of a cup yellow onion. And we'll give this about uh, two or three minutes until the onions soften. Next in, about a tablespoon of garlic paste. Won't be the first time we're using that today. We give it a good stir when it's super fragrant, and before it burns, We'll drop in our rice. And this is a cup and a half of white rice that's been rinsed. So now just toss this around a little bit. You want this buttery garlic goodness to coat these grains. Mmm, I could just eat this. It'd be really crunchy, so I won't, but I'm telling you, the smell from right here. And when everybody's coated nicely, we give it some liquid, and I'm using two and a half cups of chicken broth. Of course, if you don't want the chicken, you could use vegetable stock. I suppose water would be okay. Wouldn't be my first choice. And beef broth would just be weird. So vegetable, chicken, like that. Give it a good pinch of salt and pepper. We bring this to a boil. And when it starts to boil, just give it one stir to make sure nothing's clumping. Put a lid on, turn it down to a simmer. Give it 15, 17, 18 minutes till the liquid's evaporated. But in the meantime, we crack on with our chicken. That, my friends, is a pound and a half of boneless, of course boneless, chicken thighs. Could you use chicken breasts, Max? Yes. But why would you? These are better. Little shot of oil, and then we give it about a tablespoon of ginger paste, same of garlic paste. Told you there'd be more garlic paste. Nice little hit of salt and pepper, and then some red pepper powder, like this. And for this, I think the best move is put on a glove and give it the old business. I mean, you really have nothing better to use than your hands for this, so thoroughly mixed. Everybody gets covered. And when it's good, covered, nicely mixed, set it aside for 10, 15 minutes. And when you see me next, we'll be cooking it. And we begin with some oil in the pan, like that, and in goes our chicken. And now we just wanna give it some color all the way around. So you can leave it, you can turn it. If you absolutely didn't want to do this stage, you could leave it out, but I think you're going to be better off. So let it cook, get some color, then we'll pull it. All right, so now we can start to move it around a bit. Nice. So you want it in here, you know, four or five minutes. Just get a little color, start to do its thing. Wow, the smell though. I have an awful lot in here. I probably could have done this in two batches, but I'm anxious and it's going to be great. So just keep going. It's about five minutes, we'll pull it out. And when you got a little color like this, let's take it out. Oh, it's hot. I better bring it closer. Oh, I lost one. Oh, God. I'm about to lose more. Okay, on the heat. Now we come back with about a quarter cup of butter. A little bit more, actually. And as it starts to melt, we'll add a small yellow onion diced. And we let this soften for, oh, you know, whatever proper onion softening time is three, four minutes. Meanwhile, our rice, oh, steamy AF, is ready. I'm gonna give it one more little pat of butter and just mix it through. Mm. Oh, the smell of it is superb, superb. And some cilantro for a little pop of color and some flavor. And when this is mixed and you're happy, you just put the lid back on, keep it warm. It's gonna show up when it's burrito time. Beautiful. Back to our onions that are looking fantastic. So we come back with more garlic and ginger paste. We mix and let this get fragrant. Won't take long. And when it does, we have more spices. We've got smoked paprika, we've got red pepper powder, we've got turmeric, we've got cumin, we've got garam masala, which is a classic Indian-esque spice that has cardamom and cumin and cinnamon and all kinds of stuff in it. And this we will mix. Wow, look at this. Becoming a thick paste. Okay, in goes tomato paste. We mix. I gotta pull it closer. The heat is killing me here. And as 
The tomato paste starts to work its way into everything else. We're mushing it around. We're gonna add about a half a cup of water. How glorious is this gonna be? Now, we have a cup of heavy cream that will go in. A quick stir. Our chicken comes back. Wait, this guy fell. Mix this up really well. And now over the next five, six minutes, the chicken will finish cooking. This will become glorious. And unlike our first time when we made this in the pressure cooker, I'm intentionally keeping it thicker so it will live in a burrito without peeing out the sides. You can take a lid, put it on top, and just let it live there for a few minutes. We'll be back. With Father's Day fast approaching, I thought you might need a couple ideas for the old man for gifts, and I've got them. Send the cooking guy cookbooks, recipes with intentional leftovers. Look, I show you how to make really great stuff, then show you what to do with the leftovers to make even greater stuff. And the ever popular Send the cooking guy between the buns, silliest cover ever. Burgers, dogs, sandwiches, burritos, tacos, Everything is in here. And if you go to my homepage at thecookingguy.com, there will be a link to get you to gifts to the old man. You'll be able to buy the books there and you know they'll come almost overnight so your timing is still good. And there's a letter from me to dad, a little uh, fatherly wisdom to share that you can print and give to him. And by the way, if you print it, don't read it. It's not for you. It's for dad. Make dad a nice Father's Day. He deserves it. And you, you, you just be good. And don't eat the same thing all the time. All right, one more look before we build. You ready? Uno, dos, tres. Ay, Chihuahua, look how beautiful. Oh, that's real purdy, isn't it? That's gonna make one hell of a filling. Okay, let's get the tortilla and we can build. And we're down. Our blanket is down. All right, first up is gonna be the rice, of course. I mean, I say of course because in my mind, this is creating a bed that the butter chicken will live on top of. But make it a nice bed. Make it a cozy bed like that. That's a pretty bed. And boy, does that smell really good too. Okay, next is our butter chicken itself. And I don't wanna be cheap, so what the hell, I won't be. How's that, Max? Max is drooling. Okay, a little bit more. Beautiful. And now our papardam, which is an Indian cracker-like thing that's served kind of appetizer style with dips and stuff, often made with like uh, uh, ground lentils or chickpeas, stuff like that. We're using it just like that. Just like Taco Bell would make a, what's it called? Crunchwrap Supreme. This is an Indian Crunchwrap Supreme burrito butter chicken style. And up. And we roll. Now, I always want to put these things on the flat top, but Max worries that they get flat, hence the name flat top, so I won't. But there it is. And I can do anything we want with this now. Who's ready? Oh, shit. Shit. Do I want to eat the F out of that right now? Oh, I'm happy about that. You know how good it's going to taste? It's going to taste better than it looks. Well, we're just, now we're just fucking wasting time. And this is waiting for me. So let's not screw around any longer. I'm just going to tell you something. If you've never had butter chicken, make it this way, the Instant Pot way. You'll find the recipe. It's all below. But if you have, this would be the next obvious thing to do with it. I don't have a burrito restaurant. I have a taco shop, a fried chicken sandwich place, and a hamburger place. This would be the reason to open a burrito restaurant. This is so damn fine. I, I got no words, man. I'm just telling you, make it. I say it all the time. If you're still here, at the end of the video, you hear me say it, make these things. So do, make this. And thanks for being here with us, it means a lot. And go to shopstcg.com. It's all kinds of fun stuff there and always new stuff coming. And by the way, unlike the rest of corporate America, we've chosen not to raise our prices in these inflationary-esque times. Same prices today as they were, how long back? A year, a year. two years. Since they came out. Since the stuff came out. Wait, maybe we should raise our prices. No, no, this, this will raise your spirits.